On Saturday, three Army Rangers from CFB Borden in southern Ontario flew to Bearskin Lake for the day to assess what resources a full military deployment would need. The community in Bearskin Lake had asked for as many as 40 military personnel ready to stay for up to 14 days. They would have to come up with their own tents. Um, that's how bad it is uh, in this situation in my community. It has been a week since the chief asked for military help after declaring a state of emergency in late December. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that it's taken this long and so slow the progress that's been taken so far. But finally, on Sunday afternoon, the federal government said it would send help. The government said four Army Rangers are going in now and an unspecified number later. But the community says they've been told three now and three later for a total of six. In any event, a community spokesperson said they are disappointed with the response and still feel overwhelmed and unsupported. The 40 soldiers that the community had asked for are needed to spell off exhausted volunteers and exhausted community leaders like the chief who tested positive himself for COVID-19 on Saturday. I'm okay at the moment, but I wasn't feeling too, uh, too good this morning, but I think I'm starting to feel okay now. The chief got sick even though he has had his booster. In fact, 80% in the community are fully vaccinated. Because of that, there have been no serious illness, at least so far, that required medical evacuations. Still, with all but 20 or 30 of the community's 400 residents locked in self-isolation, there is an urgent need for people who can supply wood, food, and medicine and to provide relief for the community's nurses. There are less than half a dozen looking after 200 sick people. I have elderly parents at home that they've been tested positive and there's nobody to look after them. But I'm grateful the nurses go and check up on them once a day. Bearskin Lake, though, just might be the first of several remote northern communities that are going to ask for the military's help. Already, we're hearing from some northern Manitoba First Nations communities that say they'll be overwhelmed unless the Canadian forces pitches in.